It's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are recreating Sherry from Animal Crossing. She was actually one of my very first villagers. I love her. I feel like she's a little sassy because she has a sisterly personality and she's just awesome. She's kind of like a rocker girl. So we're gonna go ahead and recreate her look. My face makeup and brows are the same and my blush, bronzer, and highlight is usually the same too. So you can do your normal face makeup how you normally do and then we'll get into the eyes where we can do the fun stuff. So right now, I'm just bronzing up my face. I will leave all of the products that I use in the description box for you guys, even my foundation, concealer, and powder if you guys wanna know, and my eyebrows. I'll leave that all in the description box. So if you want to know what products I use, it's all down there. So just bronzing up my face a little bit to add some color, and then I'm gonna go in with some blush, and I'm gonna go a little heavier than I normally do, and I know you can't really tell from this clip, but later on, like towards the end, I apply even more blush to really make my cheeks nice and rosy. Cause I mean, Sherry, she's like a cherry color all over. So you can go pretty heavy on the blush if you want to. And of course, be sure to add some on your nose. I think it gives a really cute animated look without actually like drawing on a dog nose. You know what I mean? And now I'm going to add some highlight and I chose a highlight that had kind of a pinky undertone to it just to go with the whole cherry theme. If you missed my last Animal Crossing makeup tutorial, I'll leave it linked in the cards for you guys. I did Adi, who is one of my newest villagers. So now we can move on to the eyes. So I'm taking a deep magenta color on a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to blend that into the crease on one of my eyes. So this look is so fun because we're doing two different colors on our eyes, so it's gonna be different, which I love doing looks like that. I think it's just so fun and funky. So with this deep magenta color, I'm just blending that and intensifying it, like just going back and forth to intensify the color and blend it out up close to my brow bone. And now with a brighter, more peachy pink color, I'm applying that with a flat brush on my lid and I'm just going to keep packing that color on to intensify it as much as I can and also kind of blend it into that crease color so it all just kind of blends seamlessly together as one. It was kind of tricky for me to find the perfect like reddish pink color to use to match like her fur color. I'm also using my finger just to like pack it on to just intensify it as much as I can. Now let's move on to the next eye. I'm gonna take a gray color on a fluffy brush and blend that into the crease on my other eye. So one eye is going to be like this bright cherry color. The other eye is going to be a smoky eye. So we're just blending that gray color up close to the brow bone, just like how we did with the red or like the magenta color on the other side. And then with a flat brush and the blackest black eyeshadow that I could find in my collection, I'm going to pack that on the lid and just like the other eye, kind of blend that color into the crease as well. So it just blends seamlessly together so it doesn't look like we just added two separate colors to our eyes. So just keep working on it to intensify and blend it out. And so you can definitely go back to that blending brush that we used for the gray eyeshadow and you don't even need to pick up any product, just go in and blend everything together. So we've got those two colors on, now I'm gonna do something fun and actually switch up these colors on the lower lash line. So on the side where we did the smoky eye, I'm adding that same magenta color to the lower lash line. You don't necessarily have to do this and it's not like completely matching Sherry, but I just thought kind of switching it, the lower lash line up like this was just like a fun little touch. So again, you don't have to do it that, that way, but I just thought it was fun. So now I'm gonna go in with a liquid liner and line my eyes and create a wing. And while I was filming this, like I had a bunch of different ideas I wanted to do to kind of make it an inspired look. I was going to make a really long wing and from the bottom of my wing, kind of create little spider webs to match her t-shirt. But you'll see I ended up doing something differently that I think matches her a little bit better. So now I'm taking a black pencil liner and using that on the waterline on both sides of my eyes. And then we can go in with our mascara, add a few coats of that. And I am going to do falsies. I'm going to add the longest lashes that I could find in my collection. So just adding those babies on right now. And now we can move on to the more iconic part of Sherry's look, which are her kind of drawn on lashes. 
So above my crease, because I do have slightly hooded eyes, I'm doing this above my crease. I'm creating, well, I'm just kind of following my crease. I'm creating a arch. And then we're going to do four little stick lashes. So I'm terrible at drawing on lashes, but this is actually really easy because they're just stick straight. You don't have to worry about making it look like natural and curved to your eye. It's just straight lashes sticking straight up like that. And Sherry also has this under her eye as well. So right under where the bottom of my eyeshadow is on my lower lash line, I'm creating another arch and then four stick straight eyelashes. Super easy. And I love how this turned out because it is her quote fake lashes, but it also kind of resembles like a spider or a spider web and that matches her shirt because she's wearing a spider web shirt. So overall, I think it is super fun and super easy to do. And who knows, maybe you don't play Animal Crossing, you have no idea who Sherry is, but this look is still very like Halloween-y, Halloween-ish. So if you just want to do your makeup for the season, do your makeup for the holiday, whatever it may be, you can do this look without it having to be a Sherry Animal Crossing inspired look. It could just be your fun Halloween look that you wanna do. So last but not least, we're going to do the lips. I'm taking a black pencil liner and lining my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with a liquid lipstick. This is from Smashbox Cosmetics. I'm just gonna fill in my lips. Not that Sherry has black lipstick, she just has kind of this line for a smile. But I just think if she was wearing makeup, I think she would have black lips just because she's into the more darker kind of vibe. A little bit of rocker, a little bit spooky, a little bit goth, I think. So. At least that's how I view Sherry. <laughs> so now I'm here intensifying the blush like I mentioned and that pretty much wraps it up for this look. It's so fun, so festive. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you wanna see more Animal Crossing character makeup inspired looks, definitely let me know in the comments and let me know which character, which villager should I recreate next. I have maybe I think let me look at my schedule. I think I have one more planned for you guys, but if you'd like to see more, definitely let me know. And if you wanna be a little extra, you can add some blue contacts. These are from Pinky Paradise from their newest collection. I will have it linked below if you guys wanna get the same ones. And that basically completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in the next video.